Hello and welcome to Pirate TV. So mine's in high school. This is Cadet Mangson, Alpha Company Commander of the Navy JROTC Battalion. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a brief moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, Pirate and JROTC. Excellence is our standard. Hey, it's Frankie, and I'm a senior. Hey, it's Deanna, and I'm a senior, and we gonna win today. What's up? My name Maya, and I'm a senior. What's up, Pam? It's Jane in the building, and I'm in the 12th grade. What's up? It's your girl, Michaela, and I'm a junior. Hey, y'all, it's Bree, and I'm a junior. What's going on? I'm Mari, and I'm a sophomore. Game way. What? Yo! What's up, sir? Yo! Well, today, what I want to talk to you about the two assessments that we have coming up in the month of October. The first one is the map assessments. The map assessment is used by the Cap County School District to find our students who are gifted and also to help our students who are struggling. That map is for ninth and 10th graders and it will be offered in the month of October beginning on the 7th. On the 7th, we are going to do math. On the 14th, we're going to have reading. And on the 21st, we are going to have language arts. The way this test works is that you will be assigned ninth and 10th graders to a teacher and you will be using your devices to test. Your devices must be turned on and your cameras must be on in order for you to be allowed to test. Parents who are asking that you help us help your students to be prepared for testing. So we're giving you a one week notice Testing begins on the 7th. It's going to be every Wednesday, beginning on the 7th, the 14th, and the 21st. If any student misses any portion of the test, then they have a chance to do a makeup on October the 28th and November 14th. Once again, testing begins in October 7th for math, 14th for reading, 21st for language arts. This is for ninth and 10th graders only. This is for ninth and 10th graders only. Now, let's look at the other test. The other test that I'd like to talk to you about today is the PSAT. The PSAT is given to 10th graders and any 11th grader who wants to take the PSAT. I will explain shortly what benefit it will be to our 11th graders. For our 10th graders who take the PSAT, this is in preparation for you to take the SAT when you become a junior and a senior. And this is divided into two groups because of the COVID. On October the 14th, we'll have the first section Students with the last names A through G will be at the school at 8.45. Buses will pick you up at your bus station. I just need to know that you will be coming to test. Students with the last names H through M will come in, in the afternoon section. Uh, likewise, the buses will pick you up at your bus station to bring you here and take you back home when testing is done. The next section is on October the 29th. Students with the last name N through T will do the morning section at 845. Students with U through Z will do the afternoon section at 1245. This is so that we practice the social distancing that is recommended by the health department. And so we are breaking it up into four, four sections. 
each classroom will contain only 15 students and there will be social distancing. We are asking that if you want to test, that you also bring your face mask with you and be prepared to test. Now, this is my phone number here. You can call my phone number. Even if I'm not at the school, leave me a message to let me know that you want to test. Additionally, if you go on the school webpage, you will see my email address. Send me an email so that even though I'm not at school, I can see it at home and I can reply to you. Once again, we'll have two tests coming up. I'm gonna pull back the map up here. All right, once again, we have the map coming on, on in October dealing with ninth and 10th graders. And it's on the 7th for math, 14th for reading, 21st for language. The 28th and the 4th, and the 4th of November are makeups. Now, back to the PSAT. This is for 10th graders. The state of Georgia will pay for the 10th graders. However, my 11th grade students, if you are interested in going to college, and you are looking for scholarship opportunities, I am strongly encouraging you to call me and you will be allowed to take this test for free. Also, you have to let me know that you are willing to take the test. Ordinarily, you will pay for the test, but we are paying for you this year. If you're an 11th grader and you want to go to college and you seek scholarship opportunities, then you want to take this test in either one of these days. Also call me, leave a message, and email me and leave a message. This is greetings from the testing department. I wish you guys the best of luck. I miss you and I'd like to see you again. Thank you and God bless. Yes. Good morning, Pirate Nation. Today is Monday, October the 5th. I hope you enjoyed your weekend and you were able to get some much needed rest. I'm Ms. Harris. I'm coming to you from the counseling department with a few announcements today. Students, please make sure that you are checking your student emails. I can't tell you how important that is. This is the way that we communicate to everyone in the masses. So please make sure you are checking your student emails regularly. If for some reason you don't know how to get into your student emails, Please let someone know, let a teacher know, let a counselor know, so that we can assist you with getting into your student emails. You are missing out on important information. Next, seniors and juniors, the counseling department is hosting check-ins and chats with you every Wednesday. That's from 3 to 3.30. So it's bi-weekly for juniors and seniors. For instance, last week we were able to check in with some of the seniors that stopped by and um, checked in and chatted with us. So that's from 3 to 3.30. So this week on Wednesdays, it will be juniors. So juniors, we wanna see you. Make sure you stop by. That's Wednesday from 3 to 3.30. This month is October. October is set aside for Bullying Prevention Month. I'm sure you're thinking bullying in the high school, that doesn't take place. Actually, it does. And unfortunately, when you become older, you go to college, you go into the workplace, Bullying, unfortunately, still occurs. So we just want you to be mindful of that and be aware of that. So remember, bullying is when someone does something to someone else that is hurtful on purpose and the action is repeated. So this week, we're gonna talk about the different types of bullying that occurs. So today, we're gonna talk about physical bullying. Physical bullying is harming someone or someone's things in a physical way, such as hitting, shoving, kicking, tripping, breaking, or ruining another person's things. Remember, you might think you're just playing with someone, but at the moment when they take it serious and they say stop, and you continue to repeat the action, it then becomes a bullying situation. And remember, there's always consequences for bullying in schools. So just be mindful of that. 
you might be on the other side where you see this happening to someone. It's okay to stand up and say, step in and say, hey, that's not cool. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be bystanders of seeing someone being bullied. So just keep that in mind that you might be playing, but it can always turn into a physical bullying situation. All right. All right. So if you have any questions pertaining to bullying prevention, or if you know someone that's being bullied, anything like that, please reach out to a counselor and let us know because we don't want anyone to feel like they're unsafe. All right. Take care. Have a great Monday. Good morning, Pirate Nation. Welcome to another great day of teaching and learning. I am Dr. Whistlin John, your proud principal. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2020. Let's get started with our morning pirate affirmation. Today I will work towards securing the cap to ensure that I have a choice-filled future. Let's say that again. Today I will work towards securing the cap to ensure that I have a choice-filled future. Yes, you, Pirate, we want you to have a choice-filled future, and we are here to support you. We have counselors. We have a post-secondary transition specialist. We also have communities and schools who's a partner that removes barriers and help families and students to ensure that you can secure the cap in real time. I want to give a huge shout out to our football team. Congratulations, Coach Lyle, Coach McIntosh, and the Mighty Mighty Pirate football team. On Friday, the Pirates defeated North Spring Spartans with a score of 53 to 7. Great job, guys, on your debut football game. I look forward to many, many more great games under the Friday Night Lights. Okay, Pirates, today we are going to discuss only a few things. This is an important week. We have map testing coming up on Wednesday. Ninth and 10th grade students, you should have received an email communication from your test administrator, the person who will administer the test to you. They should have reached out to you. Please be responsive and join the Microsoft Teams link that you received so that you can be present and accounted for to get your MAP testing underway starting this Wednesday, next Wednesday, the 14th, as well as October 21st. Students, please complete your MAP assessment in real time so that you won't have to participate in our makeup days. Also, seniors, 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 and maybe some juniors, if you are 17 and a half and you will be 18 by November 3rd, please, please, please register to vote today. Today is the deadline to register to vote for the 2020 election, which will take place on November 3rd. Pirates, is very important that you register to vote Pirates, it's very important that you register to vote if you are 17 and a half. Please, please, please make it a priority. Okay, Pirates, as we sign off this morning, I want to review one of the most important things that we have to pack every day. We must have our pirate traits. What are the pirate traits? We are positive. We are intentional. We are ready. We are articulate. We are transformational and we are engaged. Pirates, I wish you a great Monday. Let's get it done. Stay focused. Do your best because at the end of the day, you can and will accomplish anything you put your mind to. Have a great day, Pirates.